Can you start by introducing yourself and sharing a bit about your fitness journey and background? Uh, my name is Robert McCapagal, and uh, when I was 24, I was in architecture, and I became really, really fat. About 260 pounds of uh, no muscle. And uh, after that, I decided to change my life and started working out, and I found out that I loved working out more than uh, architecture, so I made the switch. What inspired you to become a personal trainer? I wanted to start to learn more about um, fitness and like how to get stronger or leaner or bigger. And it, it eventually just led to me starting to teach other people. And that led to me wanting to become a personal trainer. What areas of fitness or types of training do you specialize in? Um, I specialize in powerlifting and also uh, gen pop or older age people. Um, I love powerlifting. I am an athlete in powerlifting and I love to um, train other people in uh, powerlifting. Uh, gen pop older age people is uh, what I started off with and I do love having that connection with um, general population. How would you describe your training style and approach to working with clients? Um, everyone is different. Uh, everyone has different needs whether you're a, a power lifter, uh, someone who just wants to be fit, uh, someone who is an athlete. Everyone is different so I always like to take 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 the approach with kind of like a recipe. Um, you start off with the base thing, figure out what else you need and add those little spicy things along the way. Can you share a memorable success story of a client you've worked with? Uh, my oldest client, George, uh, he's 74 now. I started with him when he was 70. Uh, when I first started training with him, he wanted to get stronger uh, because he had an 11 year old kid at 70. Um, and through that, he saw me powerlifting and he wanted to learn how to do powerlifting and eventually compete. So we got his knees better, his shoulders better, um, and we got him competing when he was 72. How do you measure success with your clients? Success is different for everybody. Um, it's not always about getting leaner or bigger or stronger. It's these small little things day to day. So um, my client, George, that I was just, just talking about, um, as soon as his knees got better through training for powerlifting, he wasn't uh, able to walk up steps and now he can walk up steps one step at a time versus having to hold onto the rail. What motivates you as a personal trainer? Uh, it's just what we talked about, the successes. I really, really like seeing people succeed. And um, we can, as soon as we can start ticking things off of that success list, it makes me want to do even more with each client. Are there any unique or specialized programs that you offer your clients? Um, they're all specialized. There's no cookie cutter programs. Um, I always assess clients first, and that's always for free to them to see if they want to work with me and if I can work with them. And as soon as we uh, can come to an agreement, then that program is specialized for them specifically. How do you customize your training sessions to meet individual needs? Um, at the beginning when I'm training someone, especially if it's one-on-one, -on -one, um, I always start with them doing warm-ups during their sessions and then once they get more well-versed in that, I want them to come in a little bit early or we put the time a little bit later so that they can do it on their own so we can really, really focus on the stuff that we need to focus on, not just the warming up or the accessories, the main movements. What challenges do you commonly see clients face and how do you help them overcome them? Um, overthinking and not being confident and it's really, really hard uh, for people who uh, put them into this kind of space with personal training or online coaching or group training, um, they're coming very, very vulnerable and exposed. So being able to have goals that are um, really, really attainable for, for them so that they can see something every month or every other month. Can you share an example of a particularly challenging case and how you approached it? Yeah. Uh, I have a client, his name is Leish. Uh, uh, when he first came to me, he was literally sideways. Uh, his spine was not in the correct place. And uh, later we found out he had uh, acute appendicitis for about three or four years. Uh, so working with him was a really, really big challenge, but we found ways around his low back, his hip flexion pain. And I've been working with him for about eight years and he can finally do a deadlift and a barbell row pain-free. How do you incorporate nutrition guidance into your training programs? Um, if clients want nutrition guidance, uh, I always try to give them the proper sources. So if that's an online coach, 
and they can actually get like real nutrition guidance from. Um, or if they just want something bare bones, I do send them some sources, some articles that I agree with. Do you provide advice on lifestyle changes outside of the gym? I do. And it's always with a grain of sugar, if that makes sense, it's not a grain of salt. I like to make sure that everyone is enjoying their life. This is the only life that they live. So if they do like going out and drinking and having fun, um, being moderate is probably the best policy for me. Like if you like drinking, then do it, but don't do it every day. Um, if you want to see the gains that uh, you're getting from the gym, then going out once a week or once every other week is fine. How do you stay fit and healthy in your own life? Um, I am uh, a powerlifter, so I like competing in powerlifting meets. Uh, so I like to do at least two per year. Um, I'm doing one in Florida in a few weeks. Uh, and uh, that always keeps me uh, training, as well as I like taking walks and I am a personal trainer. So I'm always on my feet. Are there any specific workouts or activities in particular you enjoy? I really like deadlifts. I really long arms. I am five foot eight and my wingspan is six foot one. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but uh, I have very, very long, so I really like deadlifts. How do you build a strong rapport and connection with your clients? Um, finding the thing that they like to talk about, um, whether it's movies or music or anime or something. Um, I dabble in a little bit of everything in terms of my hobbies, so I always have something to talk about with all my clients. If you could train any celebrity, who would it be and why? No. Does it have to be training or could I just train with them? Either or. I would love to train with John Cena. John Cena. I think it'd be great. <laughs> John Cena's fantastic. You wouldn't even be able to see what he's doing though. I know, but I can see the bar and the dumbbells. What are your professional goals as a personal trainer? I like to grow my online coaching roster as well as a little bit of my personal training roster. And I'd love to create a whole powerlifting team one day. How do you see the fitness industry evolving and or changing? And how do you plan to stay at the forefront of that? Um, a lot of people have been talking about AI and how AI can really, really change uh, the need for online coaches or personal trainers. But to be honest, like there is no um, personality behind the AI like you can't really connect with an AI. So I think that uh, people who are worried about it don't need to be too worried because everyone needs human connection. And do you ever think that the AI portion will ever be as good as a personal trainer? I think it already is, just it doesn't have that human connection. Okay. All right, that's everything, thank you. That's everything? Yep. Dope. Hot.